This is the Music History Today podcast for June 22nd. On today's show, a couple people plead guilty in some court cases concerning musicians, a musical finally makes its way to Broadway, and the architect of rock and roll quits for God. First up, though, on this date in 1955, the Disney classic movie Lady and the Tramp, featuring the voice and music of Peggy Lee, premiered in movie theaters. In 1961, the Beatles recorded a bunch of cover songs, including When the Saints Go Marching In, while they were in Hamburg, Germany. In 1964, Dolly Parton moved to Nashville to start her music career the day after she graduated from high school. In 1967, the Young Rascals recorded their song, How Can I Be Sure? In 1968, the Jeff Beck Group performed in America for the first time. In 1969, Detroit police arrested Aretha Franklin for causing a commotion. In 1979, Little Richard, the architect of rock and roll, announced that he was leaving rock and roll for religion. It didn't stick. In 1981, Mark David Chapman pled guilty to killing John Lennon. He got 20 years to life in prison. He has since been released from prison. In 1984, the Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone movie Rhinestone was released. Also in 1984, Weather Report and The Smiths headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 1990, Billy Joel performed in Yankee Stadium, becoming the first rock act to do so. Also in 1990, The Cure headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 1993, Wilson Pickett pled guilty to a drunk driving accident that injured people. In 2005, Enrique and Diego was formed. In 2008, producer Timberland married his wife, Monique Idlet. In 2009, Chris Brown pled guilty to beating Rihanna. He got five years probation. In 2011, Glenn Campbell's family announced that he was suffering from Alzheimer's, and on that same day, U2 and Beyonce headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 2012, the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Wellness and Research Center opened in Melbourne, Australia. In 2016, Coldplay headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival, and in 2020, 21 Pilots released their video for the song Level of Concern. In classical music in 1942, Europe heard a performance of Dmitry Shostakovich's Seventh Symphony for the first time when it was broadcasted on radio. And in 2020, Barcelona's Le Sao Opera opened its season after Spain finally lifted their COVID lockdown restrictions. There was no audience, though. Instead, every seat had houseplants. In theater in 1972, the Broadway musical Man of La Mancha opened. In 1976, the musical Godspell finally debuted on Broadway after runs off-Broadway, Australia, London, and Toronto for five years prior to that. Albums that were released on June 22nd include in 1971 when Joni Mitchell released her classic Blue. In 1973, Diana Ross released Touch Me in the Morning. In 1974, Cat Stevens released Saturday Night Live in Tokyo. In 1982, Oingo Boingo released Nothing to Fear. In 1987, Marillion released Clutching at Straws. In 1988, Robert Palmer released Heavy Nova. In 1990, the Manic Street Preachers released New Art Riot. In 1992, Black Sabbath released Dehumanizer. In 1993, Liz Fair released Exile in Guyville, a classic 90s album. On that same day, Death released Individual Thought Patterns. In 1994, Collective Soul released Hints, Allegations, and Things Left Unsaid. In 1995, Ben Lee released Grandpa Wood. In 1997, Gardenian released Two Feet Stand. In 1998, Genesis released Genesis Archive, 1967-1975. Black Alicious released A to G. Natalie Cole released Snowfall on the Sahara. 
Limp Biscuit released Significant Other, Fleetwood Mac released Shrine 69, and The Pretenders released Viva El Amor. In 2000, Saint Etienne released Sound of Water. In 2004, Motorhead released Inferno. The Scorpions released Unbreakable. Wilco released A Ghost is Born. Hart released Jupiter's Darling. And Leonard Skinner released Leonard Skinner Live The Vicious Cycle Tour. In 2010, Cyndi Lauper released Memphis Blues, Leonard Skinner released Live from Freedom Hall, and Ozzy Osbourne released Scream. And in 2011, Yes released Fly From Here. Singles that were released on June 22nd included 1951 when Hank Williams Sr. released Hey Good Lookin'. In 1971, Elvis Presley released I'm Leavin'. In 1973, Earth, Wind & Fire released Evil. In 1974, Andy Kim released Rock Me Gently. In 1981, Foreigner released Urgent. In 1998, Metallica released Fuel. In 1999, Christine Aguilera released Genie in a Bottle, her debut single. In 2012, Lana Del Rey released the original version of her song Summertime Sadness, the more popular Cedric Surveys dance remix version was released in 2013 and in 2015 selena gomez and asap rocky released good for you before we go any further we'd like to tell you that there is now a music history in depth podcast where we go more in depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week the Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 22nd include bassist Alan Anton of the Cowboy Junkies, bassist Derek Forbes of Simple Minds, bassist Gary Beers of In Excess, Bobby Harrison of Procol Harum, composer Theodore Lesiteski, Craig Gruber of Elf, and also the group Rainbow, Dottie Todd of Art and Dottie Todd, Gary Moffat of April Wine, gospel music singer Ruby Turner, Howard Kalin of The Turtles, and also Flo and Eddie. Island Records founder Chris Blackwell, jazz pianist Deodato. John Ryder of Face to Face. Young Young Hua of CN Blue. Kevin Garcia of Granddaddy. Larry Junstrom of Leonard Skinnerd, Peter Asher of Peter and Gordon. Singer Alan Osmond of the group The Osmonds. Singer extraordinaire Miss Cindy Lauper. Singer Dinah Jane Hansen of the group Fifth Harmony. Singer Gabriel Morales. Singer Izzy Miller. Singer Jake Clark. Singer Jimmy Somerville of Bronsky Beat. Singer Mike Edwards of Jesus Jones. Singer Scott McIntyre of American Idol fame. Singer songwriter and Renaissance man Mr. Chris Christofferson. Singer-songwriter Todd Rundgren of solo career fame and also of the group Utopia. Singer Stephen Page of the Bare Naked Ladies and Tommy Cunningham of Wet Wet Wet. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 22nd include composer Piero Capacelli who passed away in 1735 at the age of 71. Composer Joseph Hector Fiocco passed away in 1741 at the age of 38. Composer Hubert Renote passed away in 1745 at the age of 41. Composer Nicolas Serret passed away in 1754 at the age of 91. Composer Gabrielle Prota passed away in 1843 at the age of 88. Music critic Madi passed away in 1885 at the age of 40. Composer Hermann Suter passed away in 1926 at the age of 56. Composer Julio Fonseca passed away in 1950 at the age of 65. Singer Maria Tanasi passed away in 1963 at the age of 50. 
Entertainer extraordinaire Miss Judy Garland passed away from an accidental overdose of barbiturates in 1969 at the age of 47. Composer Jacques Wolf passed away in 1973 at the age of 77. Composer Darius Milhoud passed away in 1974 at the age of 81. Singer Peter Lochner of Rocket from the Tombs and also the group Pair Ubu passed away in 1977 at the age of 24. Composer Matti Rautio passed away in 1986 at the age of 64. Entertainer Fred Astaire passed away in 1987 at the age of 88. Singer and comedian Dennis Day passed away from ALS in 1988 at the age of 72. Guitarist Jesse Ed Davis passed away from a drug overdose in 1988 at the age of 43. Composer Bank Johansson passed away in 1989 at the age of 74. Composer Henri Segal passed away in 1989 at the age of 88. Crip Johnson of the Dell Vikings passed away in 1990 at the age of 54. Songwriter and also the brother of Diana Ross, Arthur T-Boy Ross, was found murdered in 1996 at the age of 47. Cellist and conductor of the Honolulu Symphony from 1950 to 1967, George Baratti passed away in 1996 at the age of 83. Singer Ted Gardestad passed away in 1997 at the age of 41. Composer Lubos Pfizer passed away in 1999 at the age of 63. The cellist for the Aeolian String Quartet from 1956 to 1981, Derek Simpson passed away in 2007 at the age of 79. Composer, jazz pianist, and radio and television presenter on BBC's My Music from 1967 to 1994, Steve Race passed away in 2009 at the age of 88. Nick Holt of the Teardrops passed away in 2009 at the age of 69. Guitarist Teeny Hodges passed away from emphysema in 2014 at the age of 68. Composer James Horner passed away in a plane crash in 2015 at the age of 61. The violinist with the Boston Symphony Orchestra from 1949 to 1964. The Philadelphia Orchestra from 1964 to 1996, along with being a teacher at the Curtis Institute from 1965 to 2015. Joseph de Pasquale passed away in 2015 at the age of 95. The opera director of the Royal Shakespearean Academy, Norman Ayrton, passed away in 2017 at the age of 92. Drummer Vinnie Paul of Pantera passed away from heart issues in 2018 at the age of 54. And jazz saxophonist Peter Bratzman passed away in 2023 at the age of 82. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 23rd, when in 1987, Tiffany tried a new marketing approach by doing what all teenagers do, hitting the mall 